To your left is the southernmost line with the southernmost tourist taking their southernmost selfies at the southernmost point. <laughs> West is about a four-hour drive from Miami. After leaving Miami and driving south through a small section of the Everglades National Park, U.S. Route 1 bounces from island to island along a chain of islands called the Florida Keys until it reaches its terminus in Key West, Florida, 165 miles from Miami. Our bus tour was booked through Miami to KeyWestBus.com. At the time of our trip, we paid $70 per person, which included round-trip transportation to Key West from our hotels in Miami and day passes to the hop on hop off Old Town trolley in Key West. Prices and packages do vary according to demand, so check their website for the latest information. A link to their website is in the description below. Trying to figure out what we're going to do first. There's definitely a lot of places to go. Thing looks like it's been sitting there a while. Drive a faster car. Now here on your left, this is everybody's favorite dessert here in Key West. Mm -hmm. Kermit's Key Lime Pie. Originally this building was a tobacco warehouse and there was a fire here in 1886 
destroyed almost all the tobacco warehouses, but this one, this one had metal roof, metal doors, brick building, so it was saved as well as all the tobacco on the inside. They were the day before they opened, but their room is good. Pulling out of stuff, I also like to point out the beautiful ornate ironwork on this stairway side. There's a smaller version of that on the other side. On your next left hand corner, we got Lucky Joe's Bar. Although I'm fairly certain they were not drinking water inside of there. Um, here we go, you guys, there's a lot of bars on this street. 117 bars on this street. Only 14 blocks long. There's so many bars on this street that we stack them on top of each other. Like you'll see on the corner, we got the bull, the whistle, and the guard of eat. But be careful if you go to that garden of Eden, you might burn your eyes up there. Built that building as well. But the oldest cottage in Key West is on your right. This building was built in 18. We're coming up to La Concha Hotel. That's the tallest building in Old Town. This was old. I do like to point out the Rococo architecture of the Strand Theater here on your left. And then on the corner, one of our Art Deco buildings, the Pegasus Hotel, I built. You can put whatever you want on the inside. That's why the Strand Theater is now the theater. It was a little more of a bunker bar, and they called it the Brown Derby. Then in the 80s, they re-get it to what it is today. Pretty fun place, especially on Sunday. They have a lovely jazz afternoon over here. You got well, yes. Written down the words to say. Colleen had a humble bud, and he purchased this home in that tax sale for eight thousand dollars. Gave it to him for a wedding present. Nice wedding present. They're also known for their six-toed cats inside of there. Last I heard, they had fifty-nine cats in there. I think that's about fifty-seven too many. Now this brick fence was put up to keep everybody out. Now it keeps them all in. Popular spot for a wedding as well. That tree right there, that's a yeah. most of the trees are pretty pink things. The Key West Lighthouse is here on your right. I find this beautiful banyan tree. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Now, these homes on your left, these are cigar cottages, sometimes referred to as shotgun houses. They're called shotgun houses because of the design. If you open the front door, open the rear door, it's like looking down the barrel of a shotgun. There was a convent and a school. During the Spanish-American War, Mother Superior brought 600 soldiers here, nursed them back to health by Sister Luis Gabriel. She built it as an eternal prayer for the prisoners. So that's where we have our house built here on your left. You can see the line is goes all the way down the sidewalk. It pretty much was down there when we started. So, okay. yeah. Back all right, back at it.
the lobster shack. It all just goes away. The things I plan to say. Oh, baby, what I can try to do is let you know that when you touch my hand, it all goes away. The second floor of that house is a huge ballroom. But she did not like overnight guests. Believe it or not, there is only one bedroom in that entire mansion. Now, she wasn't rude. She built three guest houses right across the street for her overnight guests. And each of those guest houses had its very own servants' quarters. To your left is the southernmost line, with the southernmost tourists <laughs> taking their southernmost selfies at the southernmost point. <laughs> You are now in the southernmost trolley. You are 90 miles away from Cuba. You're 135 miles away from Miami. So you are closer to another country's capital than you are a Walmart, which is the Army's version of the Navy SEALs. It's so difficult, and they have an 80% dropout rate. The combats. That's all true. We're driving on concrete. If you fall and hit your head, you'll get a concussion. I'm sure at the end of the day, everybody will go back to their rooms and conk out. It has a lot of our government buildings on it, including the Monroe County Courthouse built in 1890. Now coming up on your right is the end of US 1, mile marker zero. On the left-hand side of the street is the beginning of US 1, mile marker zero. The other end of US-1 is over 2,000 miles away in Fort Kent, Maine. Now, they say the mile marker zero sign on your right is the most stolen of the two. Now, coming up on your right is the second largest band tree in Florida. It starts in this front yard. It jumps over the driveway into this front yard. All the same tree jumps over the walkway to this front yard. All the same tree jumps over the house all the way into the backyard. Now the largest main tree in Florida is on Thomas Edison's property in North Florida. Now to your left you can see a circular concrete structure. That's the Navy's own water system. cistern. That's where the Navy stores their fresh water. Today it's where we store our margarita mix, parts of ship records. And they will tell you stories and answer questions about the shipwrecking industry. Here in Key West, you can climb this 65 foot tower where, where you'll get an amazing view of this downtown area. Say that I'm alright, cry on the end. 
we've chosen a lunch spot. This place is huge. Live music. Very busy too. Well, we saw at least one cruise ship in town, that Oceana cruise. I thought there was supposed to be a Royal Caribbean ship here too. I don't know where it is. But yeah, Key West is extremely busy today. It's Sunday. Oh, that's right. It is Sunday. The wall over there. We did the southernmost point. Yep. We got our picture with the southernmost point. It was a challenge, but we got it done. The con fritters. Can't come to Key West to not get con fritters, right? <laughs> that's right. You gotta have some con. I never had it before. Oh, really? Yeah. I think we had it on one one of the cruise ships. Did we? Oh. I did at least. All right. Well, let's dig in. Oh man. A burger and fries. Boring. Boring. <laughs> Seafood place having a burger. We weren't kidding. Go over near the Jimmy Buffett studio. your mother for me. Say hi to your mother for me, all right? <laughs> Can we do a selfie? It's, I think it's directly across the island, like that way. Yeah, that's a couple miles. Oh, wow. yeah. I would get on the, one of the trolleys. It's stop 11 on the trolley, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, look at that boat out there. Is that the boat they were talking about? Sea Dreams? Cool. So that's Jimmy Buffett's studio according to the tour guide. It does just look like a regular old wharf warehouse building, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. No windows, which you wouldn't want anyway if it was a recording studio. You'd want it to be completely soundproof. The fossilized coral stone, see the fossilized clams and stuff in there? That's kind of cool. Well, Miami is like, what, east? A little bit north of here? So Miami is in that direction. All right, we're gonna go have a key lime pie and a steak. We'll open nine-ish to 9.30, island time. Thank you. Oh. There are kinds of sauces for sale. You can try. <laughs> Sample noun. A portion, piece, or segment that is representative of a whole. <laughs> we should have that on our sample domes at work. And they get all kinds of sauces, huh? Key lime taffy. Okay. 
You want to come home and see? You are so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, we got bath and shower gels too. Wow. That's got to be the biggest one I've ever seen. Oh my god, those things. Look at the size of those things. Oh, he touched me. Oh. These <laughs> things are huge. It's, it's, it's exactly that, mm -hmm. but covered in chocolate. This one's better. It is, yeah, because mm -hmm. of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Go with this one. And they're the same price anyway. Well, it's the same. The, the flavor that's inside that is the same. It's really good. That's really good high-end chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go with that one. Yeah. You can only get one thing. Definitely. The chocolate is really good. It didn't skimp on the chocolate. No. No, it's very smooth. Not bitter, not gritty. And it's a good dark chocolate too. That's so good. Alright, we're gonna enjoy the rest of this. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> so cool. It still lights up at night. 
It was deactivated in 1969. All right, so we're gonna make the turn here. Once I get it 90 degrees on Truman, you want to see the top of the lighthouse. What you're gonna do is you're gonna crick your neck to the left like I'm doing now. You're gonna look back, you're gonna look up, you're gonna look out that window and magically, you will see the gorgeous lighthouse. Now the running joke is why did Hemingway's wife purchase this house so close to the lighthouse? So when Mr. Hemingway came back from the bar at night, he would have a light to find his way back home. <laughs> Would you like to have a lighthouse too? Every once in a while, come on, North Carolina, why don't you like a lighthouse? Oh, yeah. Of course. I know UK would like that too. <laughs> so we're making a turn. Crick your neck to the left. Here we go. Look back. Look up. Look out that window. Anybody up there? Yeah. There you go. So Hemingway had that lighthouse for nine years. There's the Catholic Church. St. Mary started the scene, built in 1905. Now that church was in a James Bond movie. Now look at the big monster trees to the right. Very cool looking. These are called K-pop trees. K-A-P-O-K. -K, native to India. And the fruit they would yield from those trees at one time. They would dry them out. was a union stronghold. So, say you want to fight for the south, you gotta go north. See this house here, guys? That's cool. That's what we're driving on. This whole island is big old rock. Fossilized coral reef, all it does, sticks up out of the water. All right, so I see this stone around town. They do a lot with fences. So what this bar is known for, it's known for being the first and last bar on US-1. Going all the way North Carolina up to Fort Kennedy, over 2,200 miles away, and there's a mile zero up there, correct, sir? Yep, all the way up. So we're gonna get the next light. We're gonna see the mile zero. So first thing you see is the large sign that says N1. You look below it, and there's your mile zero. So a green sign. So N on the right, D N one left. She looks familiar. So. This little green sign, most photographed, most stolen sign in Key West. <laughs> it is now welded on. <laughs> and like a sawzall to bring that baby up. Did anybody bring a sawzall by chance on vacation? <laughs> <laughs> I can't You let me know, Utah. One, parallel to the drive, we get a lot of brides and grooms. There's your man, you look how gorgeous. May still light up at night if you're out and about at night. Very pretty. So all we're doing right now is run parallel to the ball. Alright, get you guys going. I see one of the cruise ships over there. Which one is that? That is the thing you. Who's on the Majesty? Who are you up there? In the middle of the Great Depression. Uh, 1934. Trying to, trying to get a little tourism business down here to give people some work. Uh, it's a nice place. You can feed the sharks and pet the manta rays. Shaftesbury, Vermont. Look at that. I actually know where that is. Too close, Mama will get upset.
my bag somewhere. as we left it, huh? Good.